Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Florence, I'm Maribu. How are you guys doing? Hope you all are doing great. So guys, I have the part two of the uh, trouser pine. You can see the way it's looking. I really appreciate all my subscribers. I say thank you, thank you, thank you for supporting your girl. So guys, I took the measurement of seven and a half for the zipper right there. Give it give a good notch to it just to know where the length of where what this length of the zip i'll be attaching it to so i'm going straight to the pocket i took two and a half for the pocket two, two and a half inches that's like so then down i took seven inches you can take six and a half or seven inches, but I'm taking seven inches. Give it a good cuff for female paint. Give it a very nice cuff to make it look nice. I'll go ahead and cut out that portion right there. So this is the pocket in pocket I cut out. I cut a seven inches by 14 inches, six and a half or seven inches by 14 inches long. And the way um the weight is um six inches. You fold it double like so, then you mark, then the length is 14 like so. So I want to shape the the pocket too, with the same way I cut out the the front panel of the pant trouser of the pant. So that way I will just shape it out. I place I place the pant on top of the pocket and I shape out shape it out just like the way it is on the front panel. So at the, this point this is the first point I will be sewing. I'm just, I'll be sewing with a half inch, the way you see me tracing it out, half inch, that's like so. So I've gone ahead to stitch it down. So I'll be, this, I'm just showing us the, the shield and the fly that I, I'm using. I use the, supposed to be five inches wide and the eight and a half long eight and a half inches long so i put a soft stay on it give it a good press so you'll be folding it like so the way i'm folding it i fold it in two you stitch it and whip it round you stitch it like you stitch it down and whip it Same thing with the fly. I put a stay on it, give it a good press. So I will go ahead and whip it also. So it's time for us to attach our zipper. So for female pants, the zipper is always on the left side. Guys, you can go check my video on how to cut short pants for female. I really explain it detail in that video because i will leave the link here so you guys can go check it out it is well detailed i, I explained it there well detailed so guys go check it out so i'm just placing the zip on the left panel of the pint ensuring that the stopper at the zip is exactly at that point the way i'm pointing at then I will put the sheet on it and I will sew half inch, half inch to hold both the front panel, the zip and the sheet together. I 
I will go stitch it down and come and show us, guys. So, guys, after stitching it down, I top stitch close to this to the zip. You can see we are pointing right there. I top I top stitch on it. So now it's time to attach our fly. I'm just showing us how it looks like inside, inside the, at the back. So we attach the fly, like so. The front of the fly facing the front pant of the, facing the front pant of the trouser. So I'm just going in with the pin just to hold it down. Using my chalk. I marked out a half inch where I'll be sewing it. I stitch it down with a half inch. So guys, I've stitched it down and turn it in. That's the way it's looking right now. So guys, we need to hold down the fly with the zip, except not with the sheet. The fly with the zip, I'll be holding it together with the, I'll be holding this, just the zip and the fly together. I would like to really appreciate all my subscribers one, one more time. I appreciate you all. I appreciate you guys. You guys are wonderful. Thank you for supporting your girl. Thank you for supporting your girl. And for those of us that are just joining the family, you are welcome. We do a lot on the, this channel. In fact, in this channel, you are supposed to be an entrepreneur. A lot of things is going on. Braided wigs, customized clothing thank you for supporting us thank you for welcoming thank you thank you thank you so guys at this point i'll be attaching the pocket you can see the way i'm doing it right right now i just place the pocket on top of the front panel of the pint head it down with a pin and i will stitch half inch actually i'm just showing us how it will look like after stitching it down, I don't, I don't want the, the video to be too long. So I'm just trying to show us how it will look like once I stitch it down. So I'm using the paint to illustrate the way it's going to look after stitching it down. So once you finish, once I head it down with the front panel, I turn the pocket out like so. Taking out the front panel out, and I will stitch just the pockets down right there. So at the top, at the top right there, I'll be stitching it down too to hold the pocket together with the front panel. That way the pocket won't be moving. So I will hold it together with the front panel. That's the way it will be looking after I finish stitching all those points I pinned down. So guys, you might notice the fly at this point is out. What I did, I came back. I wanted to finish the fly before attaching the pocket. So, 
So guys, that's the way the pocket is looking. I stitch, I stitch down the fly. That's it right there. So we're going over to the back panel. I'll be stitching the back um, by half inch also. So guys, please don't forget to subscribe. You will see the red button written subscribe. Click on it. Don't, turn, don't forget to turn on your bell notification to get notified whenever I upload a new video. That way I will stitch it down and I'll come back and show you guys. So what I'm trying to, what I'm doing right now is to get the dart because the pants, have, uh, the back panel of the pants will be having that. So I'll be putting that. I'm just yeah. notching it out. I took four and a half down and half inch for sewing it. That's basically what I did. That's the way it's looking. I'm done stitch it down, head down the that also. So I'll be placing the front panel and the back panel together. So before you hold down the both front and back panel together, you just cross check what your measurement. You just have to I place my tape to ensure that my measurement is right. And my, the waist for my for the waist for the pant trousers is thirty seven as you can as you can see it's a, it's thirty seven half inch for sewing. So we just you still need to put measure it out once we place both front and back panel to ensure that the real measurement the measurement you have on, on the pant is right. So you can see and the hip is forty five. You can see right there is is correct. So I will go ahead and use half inch. To stitch it down. So, guys, that's the front panel and the back panel. The next thing I'll be going in with um, to attach is the waistband. So, before then, how I call out the waistband, the, the fabric I use is four and a half. If you remember, our band, our, the band is one and a half inches. So, I use the gum stay, the hard one. I call out one and a half, one and a half inches. So placing the one and a half um, gum stay on the fabric, you can see where I'm marking out. I left half inch right there, half inch down. I placed my gum stay, gave it a good press on the fabric, then fold it just sort of to cover up the gum stay. And I'll put in in half inch in. Cover it up and give it a good press also. I'm covering the gum stay. When you want to cover it, it will be covering the gum stay. So I will open up the the pant, measure the waist round. So the waist for the pant is 37. I added five inches or six inches. You have to let it be extra. You have to, you just put extra, extra length. So 30, 37 and 8, 37 plus five inches extra. That's what I added to the waist band. So at this point, I'll be cutting that excess out and attach my the waistband
like so, taking out one inch. So I will be sewing at that half inch. So I'm just showing that I took out like one inch out to turn the the band. So at that point, I'll be sewing the half inch. I told you guys that you I I took out for the waist line. So I will go ahead and pin it down. I will sew half inch at that point. Then I will fold it this other way to cover up the gum stay. I put in that half inch in back. And I will touch and I will sew on top round. Guys, that's the point. That's the way it's looking. That is it right there. It's beautiful, guys. If you watch the flap. There is no bulge at all, it's flat, it's neat. At that point, you can see I'm just raising it up for you to see. That is it, guys. Thank you for watching. Thank you all. I appreciate you all. Please support your girl. Support your girl. Support your girl. Thank you all.